Welcome to a GammaCast. That's right, I'm still here. I know in the last video I said that I'm disappearing. Uh, looks like I'm disappearing around Easter. So you'll still see me in here. Uh, Ian's away at the moment, so I'll be here for a couple of days. And yeah, uh, come and see me before Easter-ish or around Easter. Um, I'll try and do videos still on like Thursday nights and things um, once I start the new job. But anyway, this is a GammaCast. This is obviously number 51. That's pretty cool. Still smashing out these. Um, I've got a heaps of comics. I'm, I'm glad to be doing this on a Friday because it means I can actually show a lot more stuff before the Friday crowd have picked off our Thursday shipment. So I'm going to start with Marvel. Uh, it's just, yeah, dive straight into Marvel. Uh, so straight away, Aliens in. We've got a couple of covers left. I'll go through them in a minute. Um, well, I won't go through them in a minute. You would have seen some of them on our Instagram and Facebook and whatever else. Uh, but that's the, the regular cover. I read this last night. Interesting starting place. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't want to give anything away, obviously, because it just came out. But that's the only one I've really read from this week so far. Amazing Spider-Man 62 is in store. Uh, everyone's been chatting a bit about the, the new suit. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think about the suit in the comments below. Yeah, I think it's kind of interesting. I'm not sold on Spencer's run of Spider-Man. I, yeah, I don't know. I think because still, I've still struggled with the fact that we had Red Goblin at the end of um, what's his name's run. I've just gone completely blank. And that was such a brutal and dark vibe to then swap straight into lightheartedness. And I didn't really like what was going on. Then Hunted started, which is another great storyline. I actually liked Spencer's Hunted run. That was a lot of fun. But then, I don't know, everything, Kindred, Kindred? Uh, I'm not going to dive into it if you haven't read it yet, but yeah, anyway. I'm not a fan, but I'm interested to see. I love it when these two, when Boomerang and uh, Mr. Spidey team up, it's always a bit of fun. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this part of the story. Uh, Scream 1 from King in Black. I'm not sure if this is a one-shot or getting a couple of issues, but I did love the Scream run before this, so I'm keen to see where the character is now. Carnage, Black, White and Blood is in store. We've got a bunch of variants. Come and check them out. Super cool covers. Uh, yeah, I reckon this is going to be the big popular one. I still like the original. A lot of people don't, but I think that OG cover is sick. So anyway... They were in store. It's a great place to start if you like symbiotes in death. <laughs> it's a brilliant area to begin. Uh, let's go now into DC. Detective Comics 1034. I picked up the variant cover there just because it looks cool. Uh, if you want a cool Batman cover, that is the one to go. Kind of giving me vibes of the, the suit that we've kind of seen in the next film that's coming out for Batman. So yeah, looks kind of interesting. Uh, just trying to move things around here. Teen Titans Academy number one, great number one for people to jump in on to start reading. Uh, who is this Red X character? We do not know. Well, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me if you know. That's kind of like, it's it's just, um, you know, they've had all the academies, seems to be a big thing at the moment. I know that Doctor Strange has got his academy and stuff for Marvel. DC's got Teen Titans Academy, and then before that was like another group of like sort of I don't know, more Young Justice vibes, but all to do with schooling, whatever else. Seems to be a big trend at the moment for all of them to be in school. It's probably good for a younger reader as well. Uh, Harley Quinn, number one, Let the Healing Begin. That is our interesting art. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to jump on this Harley Quinn. Uh, just, it's just not for me, but I reckon there'll be a lot of people out there that will love this zany art style. So... Come check it out. Let me know what you think. Or if you reckon I'm an idiot because I'm not picking it up, let me know. Would love to hear what you have to say about that one. Also, in trade, Deceased, the actual paperback is out. Uh, don't actually have a price on it. Classic stitch up. Yeah, that's really worth getting. Awesome, awesome to read. Then after that, I'm assuming the paperback for Unkillables can't be too far away. But yeah, this is fantastic. You should definitely jump onto that and have a read. Uh, now let's quickly do some indie stuff here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, the best of Michelangelo's out. So if you want to know the best of what he's got going on, it's all in this one book. And then on top of that, Shiny Berserker. That's right, these were meant to come out at the same time as the other Berserker number ones, but due to printing errors and machine problems apparently, 
uh, they've been out this week. So if you want a shiny cover, there's this one and one other variant. There's not many left of the variant, but uh, yeah, hit us up for those. Now let's dive into some collected editions that uh, Marvel and Indie, because kind of did the DC stuff there. Big Girls, number one. Uh, yeah, this looks cool without going too far into it. It's basically um, a giant sized females fighting giant sized kaijus and it looks absolutely badass. So I haven't got this on my reading pile at the moment, but I'll tell you why I've got the next book on my reading pile. So I don't like to try and have too many trades stacked up at once. All right, this one, I got told by all of our customers that if I didn't read it, I was an idiot. So scumbag, uh, the first collected edition is in collecting issues one to five. It's only $17.48, that's super cheap. Um, yeah, looks awesome. I think that I'll enjoy this a lot. All the guys that have been suggesting this to me, Jackson, that's you, every day kept telling me why aren't you getting this. So I'm getting it, I've got it uh, sitting on my pile at home to read. I'll get onto that as soon as I can. And then I'll tell you exactly how I feel about it. <laughs> I won't hold any punches. Uh, Epic Collection, Fantastic Four, The Master Plan of Doctor Doom is in store. So that's the Epic Collection Volume 2, 1963 to 1964. It's $69.98. Uh, Epic Collections always sell really well. These are fantastic. I mean, you get awesome, awesome classic stories in these. And just, yeah, big, full, colourful pages. Just brilliant. So, yeah, Epic Collection for FF. And... Neil Gaiman's North Mythology Volume 1 hardcover is in store. That's $52.48. I've heard lots of good things about this too. If you're a Gaiman fan, this is definitely worth jumping on. I haven't read it, but I've just been told over and over again that's fantastic. And before I get into the keys, I'm going to mention some stuff that I often skip over, uh, which I should probably mention a lot more, even though I am disappearing a little bit, so I might make, I might have a talk to some of the other guys that will be here, tell them to, to suggest and pass on information about manga and anime and all that world, which I am learning bits about, but at the same time, it's, it's another whole universe of things that I struggle to keep up with. But I thought I would suggest to people some books that we've got in. Uh, how to Treat Magical Beasts. We've got, I think it's the first couple volumes. I don't know how many volumes all up there are. Um, I literally just picked this one off the shelf because it looks kind of cool. The art in it looks kind of cool and I like the title. Uh, that was legitimately the only reason I grabbed this. This is for teenagers. Uh, yeah, teen reading. So that looks really cool. It's an age of science and a forgotten magic. So mythical beasts are beginning to disappear from the world. So, I don't know. Sounds interesting. Uh, of course, I do know this one a bit better. I've watched some of the show. It's One Punch Man. If you haven't read One Punch Man, you should just... Or even watch the, the anime... Come and read the first book. You'll just be like, this is the funniest thing on the planet. It is hilarious. Uh, it's $17.48 for this one. Uh, it's super funny. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go into it too much. The reason he's One Punch Man and his workout routine is the best. Uh, it's the same workout routine I obviously have. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, okay, so then also the big one that sells a lot at the moment for everyone is My Hero Academia, Academia number one. Uh, we've got a big bunch of these in and also a massive lot of these in. So this is uh, $17.50. It's a great place to start. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are praising this right now. So that is a definite shout out for a read. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't shout out this one. This is definitely for a lot older readers. Uh, this is Tumi. It's uh, Junju. I can never say his name. Jun, Jun, Junju Ito. I've said it all wrong. I'm sorry. I do apologize. I'm terrible at pronouncing names. I'm terrible at pronouncing anything, to be honest. But uh, yeah, this is brutal, horrific, uh, crazy horror story. Sort of like, uh, I'm going to say it's lots of smaller stories of just full-on insaneness. Um, yeah, but for all the big horror nuts, you, you should definitely jump onto this. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly freaked out. All right, let's talk about keys. So you can see there's gaps over there. That means I've stolen stuff from the wall. Let's start off with some aliens. Um, we've got the 1 in 25 cover on the wall. Super nice. Very cool. Sorry about the glare. It's that early morning light glare from the window there. But yeah, cool cover. We've got the one per store, which we have $70 on. The nice sketch. One per store. It's very cool. 
We got the two per store for fifty dollars, which is also very awesome. Such a rad cover. And also on the wall is the King in Black. Ooh, what number are you? I should know this. King in Black, number two, signed by Donny Cates uh, for eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents. That's really cool. Like that that price with the dynamic forces, everything. That price is brilliant, the $87.50, because you've got to think, if you go to most of the conventions and stuff these days, you end up paying between $80 to $100 to get the signature itself with a book you've already purchased. So, I don't know, I find this is a very good way to, to get your signed stuff, um, especially because you know it's got the certificate and everything there, so you know it is legit. And speaking of too legit, to quit, Amazing Spider-Man, number 62, the 1 in 10 cover. There's that suit, a bit of a closer look at it. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, cover so yeah ten dollars on that one there that's pretty awesome and then the big book of the week so this was hard to price we had to look up a lot of information to sort of gauge where to go with this harley quinn the one per store peach mamiko variant so this was only like a a bonus for the stores they gave them to everyone uh, that, that if you order a certain amount and whatever so they're not going to be heaps of these floating around I'll probably double check eBay today to see if any more have been selling, but they've been, I know some of the prices have, have been getting extraordinary on there, but we've got a measly $150 on that. So claim that one if you're a big Peach fan. Uh, we'll probably put some of this stuff, if it's not sold in a week or two, some of this stuff might end up on our eBay, but as we like to keep it, it's always in store first, eBay second, if it manages to survive from you guys wanting it. So, that is everything I've got there. Uh, I've got no real news on toys. I did put a bunch of new Marvel Legends up there. Uh, that way there. See them there, kind of Spider-Verse toys. So you've got the Peter Parker, um, you've got the Miles Morales, you've got a Red Ninja. Yeah, you've got one of the, the ninjas is still here, that's right. I know a lot of people are chasing those. And Frogman, the incredible Frogman from Amazing Spider-Man. So, yeah. They're up there. That's about all I've got for you. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry I'm burping and hiccuping and struggling with life. Just looking around in case there's anything else I forgot. But I don't think there is. We've got plenty of short boxes in store at $10 each. We've got some bags and boards still uh, for your current stuff. Uh, still waiting on some Silver Age. But I believe that is everything that needs to be passed on right now. Please come in and see me, say hello, and uh, yeah, pick up some comic books. Gamma off.